Hi, in this video I'm looking at this question here where we're given the acceleration of an object traveling in a straight line as the acceleration as a function of position is e to the x plus 1. And we're told over here that x is the position at any time t. We're also told that this is for all x is greater than or equal to 0. We also know that velocity is 1 when x equals 0 and we're asked to find the velocity in terms of the position x. So we know that our acceleration is e to the x plus 1. And I also know that acceleration using our chain rule is v dv dx. The other piece of information we need is we need to know that velocity is also the derivative with respect to velocity of a half v squared. And then combining these two equations together, I can get that our acceleration is velocity, where this is our velocity, so we've got d dv of a half v squared times dv dx. And we have dv out here, I'll just tidy that up, dv out here down the bottom, and a v up here at the top, so those two dvs cancel out. And that gives us that our acceleration is d dx, we'll just bring that dx up there, of a half v squared. But I also know that my acceleration is that equation there, e to the x plus 1. So this gives me the equation the d dx of a half e squared equals e to the x plus 1. So now if I undo our derivative and do the integral, that leaves us with a half v squared equals the integral of e to the x plus 1 dx. So I have that a half velocity squared is integral of e to the x plus 1. And so now I can integrate this, so I get a half v squared equals e to the x integrates to e to the x, plus 1 integrates to the plus x, and of course we have a constant. Now, before I deal with trying to rearrange this, I'm going to deal with that constant. So we were given some initial conditions up here. We were told that velocity is 1 when x equals 0. So we can say that when x equals 0, v equals 1, and substitute that in. So now if I substitute these values in, I get a half of 1 squared equals e to the x, e to the 0, plus x plus 0 plus c. 1 squared is 1, halved is a half, e to the 0 is 1, plus 0, so we just have plus c, and then if I subtract 1 from both sides, I get that c equals negative a half. So then putting that into our equation, we have a half v squared equals e to the x plus x minus a half. Now I can rearrange this to get this equals to v equals a function of x, because that's what I want from my question. So if I get rid of these two halves by multiplying both sides by 2, I end up with v squared equals e to the x, uh, 2e to the x, plus 2x, minus a half times 2 is 1. So now I need to take the square root, and of course I need to do the plus or minus the square root to get v on its own. So that gives us v equals plus or minus the square root of 2e to the x plus 2x minus 1. I'd like to see if I can get rid of one of these pluses or minuses from this square root. So let's have a look at the information we were given. We know that our acceleration is e to the x plus 1 for all x greater than 0. Now, if I think about that, our acceleration, our acceleration would always be positive. So our acceleration is e to the x plus 1. That would actually always be greater than 0 
for all x greater than 0 because e to the x is greater than 0 when x is greater than 0. So I know my acceleration is always going to be positive. And therefore, I know that my velocity is always increasing. Okay, the other thing that I know is that my velocity is 1 when x equals 0. And I'm doing this for all x's greater than 0. So as v equals 1 when x equals 0, I'm always going to have a positive velocity as well. So my velocity is always positive. So because my acceleration is always going to be positive, because e to the x is always positive, that means my velocity is always increasing. I'm getting faster and faster. But I'm told that I start at 1, and then we're going to go up from there. So therefore, we're always going to be positive. So that way I can get rid of that plus minus and just have the positive version. My velocity is always going to be the positive square root of 2e to the x plus 2x minus 1. So there we have it. If I have acceleration as a function of displacement, I need to know this equation here that d dv of a half v squared is our velocity, as well as my chain rule that acceleration is velocity times dv dx. Joining those two together, I can get a differential equation, solve that differential equation, and then see if there's anything I can do to simplify that.